I will be speaking on approach to empyema, an important cause for respiratory morbidity and mortality. The learning objectives will be the following, introduction to epidemiology, pathogenesis, etiology and bacteriology, clinical presentation, evaluation which consists of imaging, thoracosynthesis, culture, management which is medical and surgical. The focus will be on medical causes of empyema. Introduction, empyema is defined as pus in the chest. This is a disease which has been described long, long ago. Hippocrates is credited with the first description of the natural history and treatment of this condition. The most common precursor is bacterial pneumonia. Imhotep, an Egyptian physician, was first uh, first described empyema in the year 3000 BC. Hippocrates understood the importance of draining it. Bowditch and Trossio uh, first used thoracosynthesis using a needle. Hewitt in 1876 described closed drainage with a rubber tube and water seal. They understood the need, uh, they understood the physiology of the pleural space and the need to keep uh, the pleural space uh, physiology intact. Skid and Fowler in 1890 described thoracoplasty. There was an epidemic of flu in the US and in the background of that epidemic, there were a large number of empyemas and a huge number of uh, and a great amount of mortality. And then a commission was formed called the Empyema Commission in 1917 to look at improving the outcome of empyema. The mortality of empyema was in the region of 30 to 40 percent. They advised that the pus needs to be evacuated with a closed drainage. Avoid early open drainage and improve the nutrition of the patient. With these principles, the mortality came down to less than 10 percent. In 1923, Eagers described decortication. We look into the epidemiology. The most important cause is paraneumonic effusions. Now, effusions are seen in 20 to 40 percent of pneumonias, and out of them, 3 percent develop. Empire must. The incidence is increasing worldwide.